Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and a brand new Corel user has been using other products that you just started using Corel. And she did really good if you took this and turned it in this vector art and she used some of my suggestions where you fix half of it and mirror it. So, but she's got some lines that are not good right here. They go, and there's a couple ways you could fix it, but still to make it symmetrical. And just for your information, I changed your nudge distance, your duplicate distance to zero, zero, and you'll see why in just a second. So I'm gonna take a two point line. I'm gonna start moving, I'm gonna hold down the control button, make it perpendicular, I'm gonna hit P. I'd already put your object in the center of the page. We're gonna take the virtual segment delete key and we're gonna swipe through there and get rid of all this. Now, I set your hairline, your drawing item to hairline and RGB. And if you don't understand why the laser engravers use RGB. So we've got some lines that were left over because they're actually part of the other object. I'm not gonna, maybe not gonna do them all, but take a virtual segment of key that's underneath your crop flyout. Now we've got some nodes here that are backwards or kind of funny. So we have to ungroup this. So click on it or pick it, group and ungroup, and then take your shape tool and you can see this node we don't need. You can see the nodes we do not need. They're just gonna cause problem. There's quite a few of them. There's actually one in here that's weird. It's, on, it's actually on top of the line. So whenever you see quadruple nodes on top of each other, there's something wrong. So one thing you can do to fix that is, I've got my nudge distance set on two inches, which is too much. Let's set it on a, an eighth of an inch, 0.125. And let's take the shape tool and let's nudge this node down. Whoop. Well, we got the good one, the bad one. So we can just take this now and delete it. So whenever you can't get a block like that, so we've got some nodes so we can, well, I got lucky there too. But what I was gonna say, you could nudge this out of the way and then uh, pick on it and then nudge it out of the way and get that bad node and then put your line back. So I think we got it. Now, Take the line away, control D to group it, control D to make a duplicate. Let me zoom in here. And while you've got your hand or your button, your finger on the control button, take that handle and mirror it over. Now, we still have some nodes that are funny because that's really, they were on one side of the hairline or the other. So we're gonna take, and, uh, take your pick tool and grab the whole thing and go up to object, group, and ungroup. Then we're gonna open up a docker, windows, dockers, join curves. I've got mine set on 0 0.02. So we need to take the nodes or take the shape tool and we can select all these nodes at one time and hit apply. And what it did, it closed them. Now we still have some funny nodes that you can take and just watch your lines when you delete these to make sure it doesn't change path. And it did, if you see that. So we're gonna leave that one alone. But what I would do is just go through here and delete all these nodes. That one was too many nodes. We must not have closed it. Yep. So here's a, there's another weird node. So just delete it. Now take these two. Yeah, there's another weird node. See it? So what you can do is take this and nudge it down. Take that and delete. Take, click on that and put it back. Now we should be able to close these two. Now let's try deleting them. And it did not change the shape. The less node you have, the better. See, this is a messed up triangular node looking thing. We're gonna delete these. So if you just select a couple of nodes, you get rid of it. 
This one's not connected because I don't think we got it. So take your shift tool, hold down your shift and select both of them, select them both and then hit apply. Look at that. Same thing there. Now we do have a funny node there, so let's back up and look at it. I think we got something going on. No, we don't. Just select them both and hit apply. We'll go ahead and do this. I don't think it needs it. Now, I always do this because you've got a bunch of nodes and you don't have to. This would cut out fine, but I would take the smart fill tool and fill this in. Now I'm going to set my nudge distance on. I think this thing is like six inches across, so we'll make, make the nudge seven. Nudge our smart fill out of the way. And then take the smart fill and fill in this interior part. And we have a leak. So I'm going to stop the video so it won't go so far. And I'm going to show this person how to find that leak and why, why it would be important. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.